Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, The Shadows of Om. Where last time we made our way further into the great maze that maze of puzzles and riddles and evil enemies that Bodhi had thrown us into. But at the end we defeated her, having transformed ourselves into some monster ball. Uh which also is also won't well, in one part it's cool. But the other part, it's scary because apparently we might lose ourselves and um, die. <laughs> Give me some a direction. fate worse than death if uh, we don't get our soul back from Irenicus. But before we do that, we still have a couple things left to do in this dungeon. Before we move on to get our soul back, uh, we need to get the, uh, the other Minotaur horn, which I believe is this way. Let's save, save it here. And. I was thinking, this bow that we might be getting for him, Heliax, me, uh, we might end up being like an archer character for a little bit. Um, because the main benefit of not being an archer as a thief is the backstab, which I just don't make use of enough. I'd like to try making more use of it, but I just, I... Give me some direction. A lot of the times... With which to improve my mood. A lot of times it feels like more effort than it's worth <laughs> in in I'll some fights. Like some fights just go too easily uh, to to really worry about it. Your worthless lives end here. Like this one. Let's try and get behind him. Oh, see, I've already lost my stealth. So I guess it doesn't even matter there, but... Everybody on him. Even hand to hand. No mercy. Every second I am in this fort. I suppose if we use our invisibility better, we'd probably um, have a better chance of making more use of backstabs. We'll take those because those arrows might be good. And limited wish, you get that. The star sapphire can go on there. Try and learn this. Good. And acid arrows. I'm waiting. Very nice, very nice. Was there anything else in there? Just done, those arrows. Huh? It's Too worried about that. Best left to me. I was hoping that I could just stay in like Give hide in shadow mode. Never see. I'm waiting. Hey, and I'm we can just keep doing this. Uh, we have both horns. Let's go ahead and put those there. Gives us another 29.5k XP. Leveling up Corgan. He's now level 15. That's great. Three additional hit points. Reduced Thacko. It's another one of these which are going to go down here. Put into two weapon style. He is now specialized in that. Making him even better with two weapons. Which is great. Um, I am a bit sad that we didn't do the first level we got on him properly. Where I put him with sword and shield. Because uh, otherwise he'd be a master in that. And that'd be amazing right now. He'd probably have... He'd be hitting everything. Look at that Thacko though. That's great. I'm very happy with him. He is doing God's work. Yeah. Wait a minute. Can I... This is a plus two battle axe, right? This is a throwing axe, but this one... I guess this probably wouldn't be, huh? I can't. Even though, like, I can use that as a melee can't have it there. Okay, that's fair, I suppose. Alright. Go kill him. Try and get behind him. Did it work? Backstab quintuple damage. 15. See, even with quintuple damage, like, my weapons don't yeah, do a ton. I know we killed him there, but... <laughs> like, 15 doesn't feel like a ton. Maybe it is. More tokens there. Another chain lightning scroll. I'll say another, but I think that's our first one. Give me some. It's done. Okay, Heliax. Oh, I forgot to do it in time. There. That's fine. Let's back yeah. up here. Yeah. Give me some. If it must All be right. done. All of you attack. I'm Heliax. Waiting. Oh, so he leaves. It's oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Kill him, kill him. Give me some. You asked for it. Get behind him. I wish I could angle myself a little better. Take more than a to stop. What would you have me do? 
Come on, guys, kill, kill him. Let's do this. Quick and Even hand to hand by your feet. Take more than a scratch. Just I will listen for now. He's getting his ass handed to him. No mercy for those who oppose us. We can't get to him. Leave me be. Short trip. Hold slam waiting. That was annoying. We couldn't like We couldn't reach him. Yeah. This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. Oh. Okay, I guess we gotta do this again. Yeah, let's go this way. All right, kill the minotaurs. Kill him. What would you have me do? Why is Dorn getting hit so hard? Give me some direction. All right, all of you on this guy. My talents are wasted on physical blows. Even hand to no, I'll There we go. Yeah, I'll see. Grab the loot here. This goes to you. This goes to you. This goes in here. Good. I was a little worried she wouldn't learn it this time. Yeah. It's done. Okay. Let's get back over here. Give you your horns back. Go ahead and level Corgan up. Still got three hit points. Good. Good. Give me some I'm there. Save it. Open that up. I'm waiting. Stealth. Yeah, if it must be done. Oh, it didn't work. No mercy for those who oppose us. Don't want direct. you going in first. Okay. It's still, <laughs> come on, LAX, Jesus. There we go. Rip you apart, you way -faced a okay. I hope this is so, what we're gonna do here. Leave me be. Something we haven't done in a while. Where is it? New cloud kill. Good. And then fireball. There's the guat. I'm gonna move into here. I'll see to it. Have him come to us. Or try to anyway. I tire of walking, I tire of talking, and I tire of this laughable body. I wish to rest now long. Do you intend to crack your whip on my back? Keep taking that poison damage. Trust is for the foolish. It's still going on. Hey, there you are. I'm waiting. Yes, a bit. I shall follow your strength. What hmm. is it now? If I must. Can I get that right there? The uh, thirty damage on him. All right, get in there. Attack him. You were lucky still. It's running away. There we go. Perfect. Those guys are stronger than beholders, I think. Should be another... Yeah. Another Minotaur in here. Next swing. Why are you so slow? Oh, you've been slowed. That's why. <laughs> Give me some direct okay, so token-wise, we have 21 tokens. I think that's all of them. Look at this. Yeah, I don't see anything else. So let's go over here. See what I can get for my tokens.
It's a long walk. Oh my god, I didn't know it was this long. Let's get to go around the entire dungeon here. When the day be done, the day be done. I wish rest, no argument. I tire of walking, I tire of talking, and I tire of this laugh of right. body. I wish to rest now. 20 tokens. With a jarring rattle, the machine dispenses a suit of armor. Wait. Chainmail. Ooh, magical chainmail. Identify. Jester's chain plus four. That's a pretty high number there. Friends of Dekir Fasthand. A bard who insisted on playing the rowdiest towns on the Sword Coast gave him this suit of magical chain as a gift. The chain mail was given to protect Decker from the drunken spectators who often threw rotting produce, chairs, and even knives at Decker. The bard appreciated the gift, but painted it with wild colors to better fit into his show. Okay, we can use this. I don't know if it's going to be better for any of you guys. I mean, it is better, but not better than that, and it doesn't do anything else. That's a little disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Well, we've got it. I'm waiting. You sure you don't want any other tokens? Okay, we've yeah. still got one token left, but... I'm, I'm a little disappointed in that reward, to be honest. Did I save before I did that? No. I'm wondering how... If it, if, is it random? 20 tokens, and I get a plus four suit of chain mail. I don't know. I mean, plus four is nice, but I don't know. Should we heal here while we're here? Yeah, I think we should. Emma win. Yep. Gotcha. I'm gonna heal everybody up here. Give me some if it must be. Be quick with this. Right. Be paid well for this. You got all your health. Get out of there. Destiny awaits. I will. Labor you will help. Leave my waste of I life. I mind your I look forward to it. Name it. Good to go. All right, and then haste. I wonder why Emma Wynn never gets haste there. Um, there we go. Okay. So we've come up to this level, or down to this level. we got a whole bunch of goblins and kobolds. Commandos. So a lot of archers. Let's do this. I'll show you a fight. Go we'll grab the these, because I don't think we can no actually get this I stuff back. Alright, everyone's this guy. Near death. Got him. Apparition. Here begins the test of madness, of sanity and clarity. Presented with nonsense, how will you proceed? You wish to test me, but this place is derelict. The directors are dead. I demand to know what's going on here. The procedures laid down proceed regardless of time or circumstance, such as the nature of this place. Protests are futile. This area works on its own, allowing the director to watch in safety. You are here, and there is no other way out. Comply or die. You are sane enough to understand that. Now then, when madness beckoned, how did you answer? Now comes the judgment when we decide your fitness for life outside. Very well. Do as you must, Spectre. I will not protest if it, if it is pointless. Very good. Restraint is a good sign. Perhaps you are closer to release than I thought. We shall see. All right. Kill the spore. Kill it. I'm waiting. I hope this is worth it. Everybody else attack the spore. Shaw guides my hand. You loot. Loot. Take that. Give me some direction. It's done. Good. 
Now comes a test of sense, a test to see if madness pollutes. Twas in the wood that I got it, so I sat me down to seek it. I could not find it, no matter how hard I'd looked, and so I took it home with me. What is it? It is a splinter. Clarity. You see through a muttering, a muttering to pull the single piece of intelligence within. A sign of sanity or of understanding madness? More questions amidst the secret places. And luckily I know all these riddles because we did this already. I'm Loot. There. Got an interesting cloak. What cloak is this? I think I end up giving this to M.O.N. Cloak of reflection. Electrical resistance reflects all electrical damage back to the source. It's a very powerful cloak. I'm waiting. Hello. What is it? Found your way to this place, did you? What, I wonder, drove you here? Wandering to the edges of madness, did you expect to find sense and reason? None in this place, no matter how thorough you ser the searching. To even suggest such a thing, from the departed and deranged. Aye, it suggests imbalance even in the asking. Then what is the proper fate? Answer nonsense with nonsense. Let a back step of logic move them forward. No sense to be had. Let us see how far into the strangeness you can stride. Answer me this and decide where you end. It is better than the rest of things and worse than the worst of things. You love it more than life. You fear it more than death. The rich have need of it and the poor have it in, in the supplies. The answer is nothing because nothing is better than the best of things and nothing is the worst of the worst of things and nothing is something you love more than life. Nothing is... You fear nothing more than death. <laughs> yeah, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Giddy I am with the clarity of your pers perception, but free you are not. Have my fellow's questions for you, this young madman. This is more than certain. Another path of words to wander through this through and seek an end. It runs as it will, but never does it walk. There is a mouth to see, but never does it talk. A bed it surely owns, but never does it sleep. Possess it, possesses it, possesses it a head but not one that weeps. It is a river. An answer that moves you forward, though only if you know where you began. Answer another from my kind to progress. And know that though there is no sense, progression is measured by a scale unknown. Move on, move on. I make you weak at the worst of all times, but in the end, I keep you safe. You'll sweat in my presence, even as you grow cold. I dwell with the weak, rarely the brave, but without me, who could tell the difference? The answer is fear. A success that moves you towards goals you cannot know. Does it satisfy? Who can say? It does, though not enough. One last word played to see if you think as we. Then you shall get what you could not have had. It brings back the loss as though never gone. Shines laughter or tears with light long since shown. A moment to make a lifetime to shed. Valued when, but lost when you're dead. Memory. Your thoughts are clear and flowing, and free you are from here. Onward to places secret and rewarding. Yes, onward and leave this festive place. You will see the unknown and, if willing, receive its gifts. That makes very little sense at all. Then it is more than I would have hoped from a room of the maddened dead. Okay. Yeah, if it must be done. Next up, I believe we have trolls in here to fight. Yeah, troll shaman. Ow. Breaker. All of you on the spectral troll. Glory. Now you die. Hold still. Next swing. Why are we? Come on, guys. You are you attacking the right guy? Why is he not dying? There we go. Give me some direction. You? What is it now? Must have run out of darts. There you go. I'm waiting. No mercy for those who oppose us! I'll rip you up! Victory apart, shall be you ours! You know this. Yeah. Next swing. He shouldn't be taking so long to die. There we go. Next time. This troll. <laughs> or these trolls. Why are they... Yes. 
Oh no, take the head. So we got a giant troll head. We have this as well. This is the heart of the mountain. We had this in Dragon Spear. It gives armor class plus two and some spirits gain, some spirits gain plus ten hit points. But it's only usable by a shaman, which obviously we don't have a shaman, so kind of useless to me. I wait, it's probably best left to me. Up here. I tire of walking. I tire of talking, and I tire of this laughable body. Here's Zircon gem. This place is a momentary relapse. It has little to do with the testing. That you found your way here is all at all is interesting. We shall see how this affects your final evaluation. You are to proceed to judgment when you are ready. I would like to further explore this area first. It shall be as you say. I shall be here when you are prepared. So this thing. There is a single word written in blood on the altar. Sacrifice. Most likely the altar is a place where trolls sacrifice to their gods in an effort to receive no blessings of some sort. Tired. I thought there was something else there. Uh, but we put the troll head on here. How long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? I say we stop now. We stop when I say we stop, guys. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, troll head. Yeah. This, uh... Shuttily made and subtly maintained. But good killing grounds, nevertheless. When the head is placed on the altar, the room rumbles and the head disappears. A gruff voice speaks a word in a guttural language and an item appears on the altar. Uh, not a concern. We get this item. Which is a bone club plus two plus three verse undead. This vicious club was created hundreds of years ago, reportedly by a shaman on a quest for revenge. His family had fallen to undead and so personal was his rage that he amputated his own leg using the femur for the body of the weapon. Magical runes empower it, though it is likely the sheer force of the shaman's hatred would have served on its own. Not usable by mages. It does plus two Thacko, three verse undead, and one d6 plus two, or plus three verse undead. So, a good undead killing weapon, but unfortunately, not better than the undead killing weapon we already possess. So, there's that. Give me some direction. I do believe that's everything here. Unless, can I place that Zircon gym in there? They don't seem to care. Okay. I'm waiting. I was wondering because there's one here, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll see to it. Hello. Uh, I'm prepared to move to judgment. Steal yourself. We go. And now comes judgment. Have your thoughts been focused by your ordeal? Have you gained clarity? Who can say? It has been quite some time since the process has been refined. Really, I do not think you were intended to survive. But I will fulfill my purpose as best I can, and use your own words to judge your fate. Your will is satisfactory. You have passed what tests I had to offer. The session is now done. You are free. And we get 51,000 experience for that. It's done. And we are free of the asylum. I've encountered... Did that. I've encountered some kind of arbiter in the asylum maze. I was free to continue after passing his judgment, perhaps out of this madhouse once and for all. Alright, and last place we have to go is up here. Ah, there you are. I see that you've weathered the storms of this place with reasonable pluck and health. It does me good to see you alive. I face treachery at every turn. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Such hostility, and I wager it is well earned. It is, however, misdirected. I do not wish to be your enemy here. Irenicus pushes ever forward, though I cannot see how I will profit. The blade he gave me is hardly compensation. Better that this place were free for the looting. I offer advice to foster a trust, and you may determine the value as you wish. It is simple enough for the moment, and will save you in the long run. Make your words count. They will determine your lifespan. Irenicus is a, is a power indeed. I have seen no chips in his armor of spells. You would need an army to face him, and I suggest that there is one to be had. The inmates of this place are a resource to be tapped. Release them, and their anger and frustration frustrations will strike at Irenicus. That is my suggestion, and I leave the workings of it to you. Upstairs, your army awaits. Use it, or you will perish. 
We have no need of support from mad wizards. We have enough magic. Let us take, attack Irenicus now. I am loath to listen to clo too closely to the words of the human, but his advice may be wise. Let us at least see if these mad wizards can be released and harnessed. And we're going to save it. And we are now officially at the point where I no longer know what's coming. Uh, this is where I got at the... Uh, or this is as far as I got in the episode that never happened. So we are now continuing our blind playthrough. So, Give looking at where we're at, we are very tired. We are in the laboratory of Irenicus. What we're going to do now... Oops, not that. We're going to go to Heliax. We're going to stealth. And we're going to scout out the area. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. So, let's go ahead and take a look around. You should have fled when you had the chance to do so. Yes, I should have. I didn't want to come in here. You were a fool to think you could attack me without help. I know you inside and out. I've taken your very soul. No use for the rest of you. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to Edwin, guys. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, I didn't even notice Dorn leveled up. Awesome. Well, Dorn has leveled up. He is now a level 13 blackguard. Um, nothing here. One new level 3 spell. Three additional hit points. Very nice, very nice. Um. Strange square 18. Nah, that's not good enough. Do, 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 do. Protection from fire could be good for him. Yeah, let's get protection from fire. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep. Give me some direction. Now, man, I hope so this time we're not going to go into his laboratory. I, I mean, like I, I guess it makes sense that he's still there. <laughs> I didn't know for sure for sure that he'd be in there still though. Can I unlock these? No. Never see me coming. I'm assuming I can't unlock any of these. We might as well check to make sure. Secret passage. Okay. Nothing is, is able. Wait, hold on. This door is completely covered in magical wards. Someone very powerful must want to keep this pl passage from being entered. There's no physical or magical way to open it at present. Interesting. Oh, hello. Thank you. I know we're not stealth at the moment, but it doesn't seem like there's anybody, like, wandering around here. So I think we're okay just to walk around. I hope so. Um, everybody else, I need you to come around. Is this another way into his lab? Yeah, it looks like it. I tire of walking, I tire of talking. And I tire of this laughable body. I wish to rest How now. long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? I say we stop now. I grow weary. Okay. I'm waiting. These go to Edwin. We'll put these away. Don't know what I'm going to do with this medallion. I don't know. There's something else in here I wanted, right? Yeah, that. First journal of John Arenicus. What is this doing here? No doubt these texts will prove to be an embarrassing legacy, but I must order my thoughts herein lest they spill from my accursed mind. Spellhold is in my control. Once recovered from my torpor, I made short work of what defenses there, there were. Coordinator Waynev conveniently removed himself suffering suffering a peculiar reaction to a spell of mine. I forget what it was. Perhaps something I heard in the temples of Suldanisarlar? 
sold in the cellar. <laughs> Does it even matter now? My condition grows worse, and what I remember of my home is fleeting. I see images of family, whose names I cannot recall, and dream of emotions I no longer feel as vividly. On occasion, I sense nature as if it were my mother, as though never removed from her bosom, but such moments are few. I bear the hallmarks of sen senality, with the rage and power of a young elf to lament it. Body endured the curse much better than I do now, but she was more focused and, more importantly, undead. She is now thoroughly seduced by her vampiric condition, despite its previous failure to counteract the death sentence she was under. She had embraced her mortality, excited by the urgency of it, but now she is confused. Emowyn's soul has restored her, but her motives remain transparent, even simplistic. She, she revels in her carnal nature, even as the elf within despises the creature she has become. I would pity my sister if I were capable, but emotions come to me only in violent outbursts. Elisim has taken my ability to truly feel, and I am left with, th with the threadbare heart of a human or some other short-lived vermin. I will not suffer this much longer. Spellhold has met my needs quite well. They had made a practice of experimenting on in inmates here for quite some time, though in a barbaric fashion. I refine their instruments and have finished preparing the necessary rituals. I am quite through with Imowen, though she can still serve as bait. I am certain Heliax will make an appearance sooner or later. Bodies delivered more assassins than I had asked for. I disposed of some in advance, but it seems such a waste. I think she has done this on purpose, as she has taken to releasing the extras in the maze below and hunting at her leisure. I marvel at her hunger and how she seems so alive in her own death. Perhaps it is the soul of Imowen. Soon I shall see for myself. Heliax had best hurry. Ah, so they're using our souls to stay alive. Hmm, interesting. Me directions done. Guessing this goes upstairs? Or is this going downstairs? Your starting to wear on me Lonk the Sane. What? What are you doing here? You should be in yourselves with the rest of the wackos. Lonk the Sane takes care of you, but you had better show some respect. Everyone gets locked down tonight. Too many people getting agitated. Always happens when the boss experiments. Makes them angry, I guess. Open the cells, Lonk. I'm releasing everyone. Don't trouble yourself. Give me the keys and I'll lock myself up. Makes them angry, does it? What would happen if they get loose? What would happen if they got loose? You're one of them. What would you do? Individually, they can be bullied around, but altogether, they get too excited to control. That's just what I'm hoping for. Release them all now. Well, I'd better go to my cell then. Give me the keys and I'll leave you be. What would it be worth to get you to release them? Worth to me? How much is a life going for these days? The new, di the new director, Iranicus, would have me quartered in his experiments. He's done it before. 10,000 gold? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 200 gold. That's not worth even talking about it. You get back to your cells on the double. Then I'll kill you where you stand. You're looking to be difficult, are you? aren't you? I can accommodate that. I don't watch over this place because I'm helpless. We'll I'm see. Waiting. Let's do this quick and painful. Lonk. Next time. Oh, he's still over here. Oh, that tricky, tricky man. Oh my God. He's definitely not helpless. Yeah. Lonk is dead, and there are whispers of, and ravings as the inmates realize they are free. You hope you have done the right thing. We'd better go check on those inmates, Heliax. We don't want them running wild all over the place. Wait. Emmawin's dead. How did she say that? Tonight, I'm someone free? Oh, that's Edwin's dead. What face should I wear for this? You will wear what face TX orders. Today, he rules all! Silence yourself, diminutive one. Do you not hear the howling? Around on all sides they are. You will regret the day you cross the will of Tiax. My conquest of all is not something to be mocked. Is that the rule of all you survey or beyond? What are those that walk inside and around and through that stand where you stand now? 
none stand where Tiak stands, lest he walk atop them. <laughs> As I see you do now, and beneath others, do you not see? See them inside and behind and beyond! No. You speak too much of what can be seen. I wish to see only my pretties again. I won't look too far. I promise. Ah! Tiax is surrounded by fools and madmen! Who is to blame for this outrage? Whom shall Tiax smite? Why, there's only one man that stands between you and your rule. Irenicus. Irenicus? Oh, I took his face once. His punishment was... Oh, to look at him is to see too far. I cannot look to him. He is called through all the plains. None walk where he does, though they see him not. I would prefer to face the dogs of fire themselves. This Irenicus is surely a tool of the gibbering twelve. <laughs> he did this. He did this. I w we must find him. He is the cause. He is the one that brings the tests. <laughs> yes, yes. I will not rest until his head is mine and mine and mine alone. That's the spirit. All of us can take him on. Downstairs is where we must go. He has tortured a lot of you. Aid yourselves and help me defeat him. Yes, yes, now would you crazies please get, just get tested. He has tortured a lot of you. Tiak shall face him alone. Tiak judges you not worthy of helping him. Though you may watch if you wish. Perfect. Wait, no, I need to get Edwin. Um. What is this? You have released all of my test subjects. How wonderfully mad of you. I did not expect this in the least so dangerously risky it is. I'm glad I amuse you. Now we'll end your plans and your life. They have rallied around me. We shall all defeat you. I don't need them, but I thought it fitting that those who you tortured help you in your fall. Number three. And over eager, as over eager as ever. But your boasting is wasted on me. You are, not, you are no threat, not even with your army of madness. Your fate has been sealed with the curse I transferred to you. I have the souls of both you and Emmawin, and they have healed body and myself. You will die in our place, or worse. Body tells me you have exhibited a transformation. With your will slowly fading, perhaps the essence of Baal will rise to take you. That would be a sight, I am sure. I'll take back what is mine now. I'll take it back. You perverted this place, and I'll take it back. You tortured those here long before I arrived. I may they had more purpose to do it. Ah, I speak with madmen when I should be at my revenge. You, you used me. You tore apart my soul and then ripped it from me. I'll kill you for that, Iranicus. I'll kill you. Bah, your pathetic mewlings mean even less to me than Heliax's. Die, all of you. I have restored my soul and will work my revenge without your interference. Okay. I guess we're going to try and do this without Iran or without Edwin, but... Give me some direction. We might have to reload. I'm going to reload. I don't want to do this for Edwin. Okay. Yeah, I hope this is worth it. Your chattering's starting to wear on me nerves. Uh, what would happen? What would it be worth? You'll die then. Okay. Give me some direction. Lil Alul! For even Alright, let that one go. Because this one's still here. Come on, man. I know you're there. Oh my god, do I have invisibility purge? <laughs> this is getting annoying. I'm waiting. Back up. Done. Damn it. Trust is and the dead. How's this guy not why was I able to see him so soon afterwards? Then they killed this guy for that to happen? Okay, it looks like it. 
All right, Lonk is dead. Okay, good. Tonight, I'm so sorry. You is that no. as I know. All right, um, one man is tortured. Okay. You may watch. What is this? You have released all of my test subjects. Die, all of you. Okay. Give I have restored my there. soul and will work Everybody my attack. revenge without your interference. Leave me be. What did I just cast? Oh yeah, that's that's right. That yep. I don't I don't aim that. On to Heliax, please. What the hell? All right, everybody on to Edwin. Oh, he's, he stopped time. You go, Wanev. I want that spell. This is kind of hectic. I don't really know what's going on here. Okay. This is actually really difficult. Cause I can't like. Be quick. I'm releasing everyone. Now just wait a moment. Do you know what would happen if you release these people at all, all at once? You're one of them. What would you do individually? Uh, give me the keys and I'll leave them. There ain't but one key and you ain't getting it. Now get to your cells before I get angry. More tests for you if I get angry. Um, release them now. I won't ask again. Okay, so he attacks anyway. Give me How much money action. do I have? Could I pay him off? Yeah, probably. For time we got to business. Let's do this quick and painful. That's fucking damn it, man. We are better off. I'm about to just pay him. <laughs> this is annoying. Yeah. Like these one-shot kill things that he does. Your chattering's starting to wear on me nerves. At two thousand. Two thousand. That's that's a fortune. I could get pretty far on that. Yes. Yes, sir. Hmm. All right. If you want them out so badly, I'll let them out. I better. Okay, that's not bad then. I better head straight to the docks and get myself out of here. Ironicus is going to be inset incensed. Okay, good. Tonight, I'm someone you, you is none as I know. Ah! Tiax is surrounded by fools. I, I will not rest. Tiax okay. shall face him alone. Tiax judges are not worthy of well, you may watch. What is this? You have released all of my test subjects. Die, all of okay. you. I have restored my soul Attack and will him. work my revenge without your interference. Leave me if I am not what you're good to be looking like. Summon that. Yep. Use this on yourself. Heliax, I kind of want you to be away. Ow. What does this do? Charm person. Charm yourself. Okay. Oh, he's near death? Is that what it's saying? There's no way he's near death.
Alright, if you've been charmed, go attack over him. Attack him. I will tolerate only so much. What you want? Yeah. Thorns down. Hit Aranicus. Drink. Okay. All of you on him. He has to be close. There he goes. Fight over this place when my plans may be laid anywhere. I must start anew. Have your victory here then, but know that you are dying on the inside even now. Many will join you before I am done. My home will feel my wrath. What is he talking about, man? Here, fight amongst the mindless assassins I would sacrifice. I shall fight others to serve my needs. This place is yours. I hope it is your too. <laughs> Okay. I'm waiting. Back up. I tire of walking. I tire of talking. Attack him. And I tire of Drink. Raise Dorn. I feel your stairs. Die. Dorn. Go get your stuff back. Good. Equip it all. Can't do it during combat. Can do that during combat though. Now. All right, everybody on him. Kill the murderers. There's a whole bunch of them, huh? My God, they keep coming. Why are there so many murderers? Do this. Quick and pain. Pain. All right, everybody on Viconia. All right. It's Is it over? Emowyn leveled up. We can save, so it must be over. Okay. Go ahead and equip your stuff. Phew. All right. We did it. That was a little hectic. By a little, I mean very hectic. Um, this one goes here. That one goes there. Nothing else is... You don't need any of this stuff, do you? Alright. Any loot? No. Okay. All the inmates are freed out of here. So, what happened? Oh yeah, we didn't do that. Doran's bloody path. Also didn't do that. Okay. Mammoth's soul has been taken. Inside the asylum. Where do I go? Huh. Well, what now? Yeah. Hey, not a concern. Okay. Well, Viconia leveled up too. How much XP did we get for doing this? 1400. Okay, all these murderers. You go up, go, go up. Okay, okay. Oh. Wait. I don't see Irenicus anywhere. Did we never attack him? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we leveled up. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you are level 17 cleric now. That's big. Nothing new there. Level 7 spells, though. Level 5, level 4. And one more hit point. Another level 7. So right now you have gate. Let's go ahead. Oh, man. What do we get? Sunray. When this spell is cast, it causes a ray of sunlight to beam down upon the caster and everyone within 15 foot 
a 15 foot radius. All creatures within the area effect take 36 points of damage and must save versus spell or be blinded. Undead that are hit by the summary takes 26 damage per level of the caster. Okay, so this is something we'd want to do. She's like alone. Firestorm, finger of death. Oh man, there's so many good things in here. I feel like this would be a good one to get. Although we kind of want this one. This powerful abjura abjuration spell causes the spell spells cast against the priest to be absorbed and consumed. Yeah. I think we want this. I think this would be best for her tinking, which is what she is now. So we'll take it. Let me know if that's the wrong choice. And then Emma win. Go ahead and level up. You get level 7 mage spells. Another hit point. Okay. Um, Powered stun. Alright. Let's go ahead and lower this. I'm waiting. Can we get out of here? Can I'll we use this now? No. It's still locked. Yeah. What is it? Give me some directions. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm guessing we just leave? There's nothing else in here, was there? Not that I know of. Okay. Let's get out of here. When the day be done, the day be done. I wish rest, no argument. I tire of walking, I tire of Guess we can find and loot this place. I tire of this laughable body. I wish to rest now. Hmm. Take the money. This is that over there too. Gone and off like the shadow flees the more. You aren't going to let him fall away so easy, are you? Why would you encourage me so? You were in his service. I won't let any of you get him, get away. You help them, and we'll join him in death. What are you doing here? You, your cowardly masters didn't take you with them. I ruined his plans for the moment, but he has escaped with my soul. I intend to follow him. Yep, number four. It's really admirable goal, and I would aid you if you permit it. You may view me with suspicion, but please take a moment to see my situation for what it is. It is true that Bati empl employed me, but she is fled now, and I owe her brother no loyalty. The trinket blade they gave is nice, but I have other needs. Besides, I know a little of his plans through a peek or two at his journal. It's little enough, but I figure we're all in trouble if, he's, he, if he isn't stopped. I don't see why we should suddenly trust you. That certainly wasn't any risk. Why are you so scared of Irenicus's plans now? He's said nothing of them. No doubt the fe no doubt he feels a villain is always undone in the exposition. I cannot say I blame him. I have ha I have many a dead friend that boasted when silence would have served. From what I saw of his journal, and from overhearing chats with Body, I know his destination to be an elven city in the forest of Telthir, or Tethir, Soldenisilir, Soldenisilir. What he plans on doing there exactly, I don't know, but he seems to expect to become more powerful than anything, than the gods even, and that can't be good. Huh. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. God, it should be solely reserved for those with the proper destiny and mental endurance. Me, for instance. So I will offer my service to you in the hopes that we can benefit from one another. I'm sure you can understand the motives of self-preservation. What could you possibly offer me? Your tongue may well may as well be forked. I trust nothing you say. So you propose an allegiance. I only see a benefit for you in this. What could you possibly offer me? Of course, I would not impose this upon you without a proper offering of peace. Let me first inform you of the ways you might escape this place. Irenic has left a magic portal. It could be trapped, and it may even lead to the into the Underdark. Not a safe place to go. He sealed the door, but I think I can get us to the surface. I suggest we go back to my ship. I know where he's headed. Why are you headed? We may even cut him off. That seems convenient. What is the catch? And what will you require in return? I suppose gold or the like? What's the catch? There are no secret there are no secret conditions on my help. I merely seek your friendship, or at least your pardon. I require allies if I am to survive. No. 
I ain't getting on m any blasted ship. I had more than me filled to on the ride here. If we goes anywhere, it's into the Underdark. We'll carve a path of blood through, the, through its guts. I have no eagerness to return to my home realm, Heliax. I am unwelcome there. I say let us take the ship the pirate offers rather than brave its depths so lightly. I don't care which route we take. I want my my soul back. And I want Irenicus to suffer before he's done. So, will you try the, the portal or accompany me to the surface? Perhaps I will throw in the blade I was paid to show you my good intent. I think I'll take the portal. Dark or murky, it's clearer than your motives. I'll find my own way and kill you as well. Very well. Lead the way out and we shall take your ship. This guy betrayed us. He did betray us. I'm trying to think of any moment in this game or the previous game where Heliax did forgive somebody who did something like that. And I don't think there is one. I think it'd be very out of character for me to let this guy go. Now, the only thing that's holding me back from that is his hatred for Iranicus. Does his hatred for Iranicus run deeper than his hatred for somebody betraying him? And does he think he needs this guy in order to catch Iranicus? No, probably not. Right? I think Heliax is arrogant enough to think that he can do it without this guy. Whether that's true, I don't know. I do like this guy, though. <laughs> like, as the player, I like this guy. <sighs> I'll find my own way and kill you as well. That would be a harsh response to my act of charity. I fear I must deny you the pleasure. Fare ye well. I must away. Alright. I have escaped the labyrinth. Now I must confront Irenicus. I may be able to enlist the help of the other inmates, too. I'm sure every one of them has a score to settle with the, the mad mage. Okay, yeah. We've done that already. So... Wait, so now what do I do? <laughs> Uh, can I just go and take a ship? Do you have to go into the Underdark? I don't know. There's not really any direction right now. I'm just kind of... I guess, I'm guessing he was the direction I was supposed to take, but... Uh, back up, back up, back up. I got a stone golem up ahead. Let's see what your guts be looking like. Next swing. Good. Okay. First journal, which we've already read this one, right? Yeah. So we'll take that one. But we also got the second journal. Victory. I am restored. Heliax has given exactly what I needed. Exactly as I demanded. And now I see where body has found such fire. I feel the essence of the gods within me. Damn Elysim's curse. For the weak-minded spell that it was. Now I am free. Heliax did not make proper use of the heritage given him. Now comes the time of retribution. I will not allow such a crime to go unpunished. The audacity of Elysim claiming my punishment was just... in such a place as this. Claim Most unpleasant memories. Claiming my ju my punishment was just and the hypocrisy of my people, accepting such an act while decrying mine, I will not let this rest. I will take what I intended, and those that would stand before me will fall as they should. Today is a much better day. I will act at my leisure. Okay. Yeah, it's probably best left to me. Staff of thunder and lightning. There are stories that tell of these staves sprouting in the growth around druid, gro druid groves when the forest is threatened. Fanciful tales, tales, but truth or not, the staff is a powerful tool. It draws energy from storms, and there is a chance that any blow might trigger a thunderclap that knocks enemies down. It casts lightning bolt, and, it's, and if circumstances warranted it, it can summon a lightning storm to blast enemies to dust. Some abilities are limited by charge. Combat abilities, thunderclap, ten percent chance of stunning hits of stunning hit targets hit target for two rounds. 
Charge ability, lightning bolt, 10d6 electrical damage. Path of the bolt, 20 foot range. Earn call lightning, 3d8 electrical per strike, range 80 feet. That seems pretty awesome. You want to hold on to that? Sure. Give me some direction. I tire no of walking, I tire of talking, and I tire of this laughable body. I wish to rest now. Is this a trumpet? I don't know my instruments. <laughs> it doesn't look, no, it's a uh, something else. What is it? Horn of silence. When this odd horn is blown, no sound issues forth, making most people discard it as being useless. However, if the proper command word is known, the horn is capable of silencing all within the area of effect. Providing that they fail a saving throw for his breath weapon. This horn may be used three times a day. The most common use of the horn of silence is as a weapon against mages. Fighters often employ the horn, silencing enemies and drastically improving their own chances of success against the frail ma magic users. Silence three times per day, 15 foot radius. Well, that's really good. Get that to Dorn. Um, you also have these. There you go. Put that away. Alright, and last one. I hope this is worth it. We have John's key in Rogue Stone. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see to it. Okay. This exit has been sealed by a powerful magical force. You will need to find another way out. Okay, I guess we are going through the portal then. I'm guessing that's what that key is for. How are we doing on levels? We're only 10,000. Holy shit, we got a ton of XP. For defeating John. I didn't see how much XP we got, but... We had to have gotten like 100,000 or something. Holy crap. What's that for everybody else? You know who I just remembered? CERN is still down there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he's only 100,000 away now. 64th. Yeah, that's great. Great experience. I love it. We'll go through this portal, and I think we'll end the episode then. Once we see what's on the other side of it. Apparently, we're going into the Underdark. Viconia is not going to like that. But hey, you know, that guy betrayed me. I'm going to kill him. As much as I appreciate his turn of heart. Change of heart. It just doesn't work like that with Heliax, unfortunately, for him. Okay. The Underdark. Things go well on the surface. The temple of their false god has been defiled. I am pleased. My revenge will soon come. We did not act for your benefit, Irenicus, though you did offer some interesting opportunities. Yes, Matron Mother. Excuse my careless words. Our first prisoners arrive, Matron Mother. These two rank high among the surface scum, Matron. What is to be their fate? Their presence sickens me. Kill them. Perhaps it would be better to interrogate them first. Journalist, what are you doing with these monsters? You are on a... An odd way to question, Arenicus. <laughs> Did you not like his tone? I reconsidered, Matron. Your command was the wiser. Hmm. So he's working with the drow? The great depths of the Underdark stretch before you. And as you adjust to the dim light, the reality of where you are begins to sink in. It is a realm of countless legends, where evil lurks behind each shadow. And though you have traveled far in pursuit of Irenicus, never have you felt so isolated. As black as your situation may have seemed, it somehow grows darker still. Well, that's not good, is it? This is so cool. <laughs> All right, chapter five. That's not so dark. Right? Got the chills. I'm tired of walking. I'm, I'm tired of talking. And I'm tired of this laughable Already body. I, feel I wish to rest now. 
eyes are no longer used to its darkness and my senses to the hint of the threat around every corner. Mm, that's not good. Can you uh, fix that? <laughs> we must tread with caution, Heliax. There are, no doubt, drow in this place, along with beholders, illithids, Kuatoa, and perhaps even worse. The denizens here will expect no mercy and will offer none. If we are to survive long enough to find a Euronicus, we must be stronger than any of them. All right. You have a problem? What is this place you've brought us to, Heliax? Did he actually say something? Oh, no, it was just, that, was, that was it. Okay. <laughs> I leveled up, though. Let's go ahead and do that. Level 20. Look at that. Ah, oh, so good. And we can finally become proficient in long swords. And do that. Okay. We're tired. Do you think we can rest here? <laughs> All right. Whew. All right. Um, we can get to level 21, it looks like. So level 20 is not the level cap. I guess we already knew that because we saw this, didn't we? Where is it? Yeah, 21st level. That's coming quickly. We need to use that more now. Holy shit. Okay, it's chapter 5. Uh, da, 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 da. There's nothing in my journal. Wait, I can't go to my journal? There we go. I must use the key I found. Okay, where it leads, I do not know. Irenicus's plan was nothing more than to draw me into the asylum so that I could, under his power once again, could come under his power once again. He revealed to me that Imawin, of all people, was none other than a child of Baal himself. Obviously, the reason Garion had taken her in along with myself. Aranicus had stolen away Imowin's divine soul already, and, I, and after performing a ritual, he did the same to me. All part of some plan of ultimate vengeance that he did not speak more on. I was to be disposed of by Body, who allowed me a bit of a chase through the Asylum Dungeon, and I only survived by finding myself turned into Baal's avatar, the Slayer. With my soul gone, I cannot control the taint within me, within me any longer. Getting out of the dungeon led me to freeing the asylum's inmates, and together with them, we were able to force Aranicus to retreat. His victory, but a hollow one. The mage is not defeated still, and both Imowin and I are still without souls. That's not good, is it? Okay, before we end the episode, I just... Hold on, I'm going to put you guys away. Get out of my inventory. We need to see how good these things actually are. So, these are my three long swords. So, right now I do 912. Let's just focus on a or Thacko at the moment. So, we got Ross the Dancing Blade. Dancing Sword can attack on its own for four rounds. It's a combat ability. Okay. That has the same Thacko, but does two more damage. So, it is an in improvement over that sword. Okay. Hold on. Was it 9... Yeah, it was, it was 9.12. I don't know. Okay. And if I put that there... So the pixie dagger is better than that. Okay, so... We've also got Daystar. Charge ability, sun ray, once per day. 3d6 damage. Undead, additional 1d6. And 20 foot range with an area of effect of 15 feet. Plus 4 versus evil creatures. Plus four versus evil creatures and does double damage against undead. I imagine since we are in the Underdark, Daystar is going to be super, super good. Then put that there. If I use that here. Okay. Pixie Dagger obviously does less damage, but I think it's probably better with its poison. Fall asleep for two rounds. Okay, and then we got Namara. Charge ability, silence, 15 foot radius three times per day, duration one. It does better damage than either one of them. Could do that. Well, this is going to do better damage than that. I think we're going to go with that. The Pixie Prick is probably pretty good still. 
with the sleep. But it doesn't happen that it hasn't happened that often. I don't know. If that's just because the Thacko is not very good or what. But this is what we we have higher damage output here. So we're gonna go with that. Put all these away. Okay. So that's what we're gonna roll with. And that's where we're going to end this episode. Guys, we are in the Underdark, and I am scared. In the next episode, we're going to explore it and see what we've got. We are level 20, though, so we should be fine. We're, we're pretty strong now. Uh, but we're going to continue exploring the Underdark. Maybe we'll find a Drow town we can go into and explore and stuff. That'll be kind of cool. I doubt they'll like us. I don't know how that'll work, but I'm interested to see where this is going to go. Are we going to find any allies in here? I don't know. I'm pretty uh, pretty psyched to explore the Underdark, though. I'm happy about this. Until the next episode, have a wonderful day. I'll catch you later.